wide when you see something in the world that you really know. And don't tell, let's start. Close to see who's the closest behind those eyes. I know it's you. But now you're running to the coast to see who's the closest behind those eyes. I know it's you. Take it or leave it, I feel it coming with my head. Come with me now, it's a car crash accelerate With you I can feel it, I can't anticipate Hold on to the edge, I'll be your counterweight Take your eyes out for some sunglasses Don't make a mess of Cheese Packet. I'm Joe from Cheese Packet 2. And I'm Dylan of Plastic Glass. Ben, Tim, Plastic Glass. <laughs> I'm Lewis, the lead team of Plastic Glass. And they're here with us today for an interview and um, you guys are on tour at the minute and you? Uh, sort, sort of. of. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sort of that. Well, you have yeah. got Newcastle tomorrow at the time of recording this, didn't you? You just looking forward to it? Aye. Can't yeah, wait. It's, it's going to bounce. We enjoy playing Think Tank like Last time. Nah, it was class last time. Good last class. time. Yeah, good again. Yeah, because you're a think tank again, and you and you have just been in Manchester, haven't you? Yeah, last week was Manchester. Uh, first time in Manchester. It was class. That time. was a good gig. A bit of a funny. It was a bit airy. But tell our story. Oh. So I don't think. Well, shall we? So we? We may as well now. He walks now. up to Manchester. He's lost his wallet. He lost his it's wallet. 18 plus venue. Walks in. Manager's like, well, Nick, check your ID. He's 18 plus venue and that. Oh. So we're going in. He hasn't got his ID. But, but I see his, there's a little man on the door. <laughs> I see his from, oh, I haven't got my ID. I've lost my wallet. But I've got a picture of my passport. He was like, I made spot on sound. That's, that's me, yeah. bother. And then this little manager came along. This wifey started manager. Yapping. She was like, ah, you need your ID. She wasn't man. having any of it. So, so I was like, so you've made us travel yeah. three hours. And because one of us hasn't got proof of ID, you've got to send us home. So eventually it got sorted. Obviously, got sorted. we played the gig. Obviously, you were like, <laughs> but 
most stressful it two w- hours of my life. It was, <laughs> it was, it was pretty hairy. Yeah. Like. It was bad. Well, what would you have done if you just couldn't get in? Done another gig somewhere in Manchester, I think. Like. Um, yeah, well, maybe. contacts. Just contacts. I, think, I think I might have sorted another gig, like, but it, it worked out in the end, and it was right. a pass gig. Like, so. Cool little venue, wasn't it? Yeah. Great like. venue. Well. What do you think of Manchester in general? Can he? Do you get that much time to look around? I mean, from what I saw of it, uh, <laughs> we're, 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 our plans of the sound check, garden, pine, food, look around, but like, we ended up just stood for two hours, just like trying to persuade the manager to let us play the gig, so we kind of right. didn't really have time I to look around. I mean, just I mean, a video, video of my passport and that. <laughs> I mean, I stopped out, I went round the corner with my dad, uh, he oh. likes his music, uh, went round the corner at night and day, watched Michael Gallagher, Harley Pearl lad, it were like, uh, and he was class. And then I watched, uh, I think the Finnish band called Grandmother Corn, and it was like the Hives made Bob Dylan, and it was absolutely mental, but it was brilliant. What's on your wrist? I can't find the email, can I? What's on your wrist? Because I've noticed that. Your like, wrist? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit, I have a tram side and tapped them off. I went and la- like last in the summer, I went to Kendall Corn and like. Right. It's good. And it's been there since. Oh, yeah, I haven't <laughs> took it off. That's probably why I've got mumps, like. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clear, no, I, d- I m- did not. I, I yeah. don't yeah. know if I've got mumps. I think I have, but Oh, well, that's fine. I can't oh, for you. He's, he's, so. he's got mumps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, mumps are just breeding everywhere. Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, one of my mates had it, and he was like, I can feel my, feel my glands if I've ever stolen. Like, this is before we actually. Like, See, it's just a little party. That's a bit hard here. Like. But I'm happy I'm sitting in the first seat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, feel my glands in the car. I'm like, I'd rather not. Like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just tomorrow, just out. But, uh, so I just rock up think tank, look like both selectors. <laughs> <laughs> no, so how did you all uh, meet as a band? Well, Uh-oh. we May, went to school together. I, me, Ben and Fraser were at school together, been in bands for years and years and years, mm-hmm. various bands. Uh, we were Tom Mouse Smith's band at one point. Um, and then... <laughs> oh and then we met Lewis through... Don't some see talent it. competition. <laughs> Don't see it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> uh, some talent yeah, competition. Yeah. That Which one? That wasn't no, British no, 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 it wasn't. No, yeah, no. It wasn't anything like that. <laughs> we could be it was ready, just a local thing. Talent, <laughs> no, will we? We're not going um, anywhere like that. Uh, but but I, we met him. He met was doing him. stuff on his own. And I was then, like Jason Mraz and Justin Bieber and that. Right. <laughs> right. And then we'll put him on some prop music and start writing some tunes. Uh, I guess he, yeah. So who writes, actually? Who writes the stuff? Bit, a lot of the newer I mean, stuff's me. But, but uh, I'll, it's like, like a lot of the time, though, I would say like it's n- no one's ever really come in with a finished tune. Ah, that's kind of See, I might have like a verse or a, a, ry- a rhythm, yeah. and then like we'll all just chip we'll in. Go in the studio and uh, everyone apart from Fraser kind of chips in, and uh, <laughs> Fraser's just like, he does his drum beats, like, but like we, no one comes in with a finished tune. Like it all gets think done together at the studio. In terms of finished songs that have actually gone into the studio as a finished song. It was probably what that means. Yeah, that was and I first, away. That was the first That's ever tune we wrote, and it was like. But then, even so, there's some tunes where it'll be like we'll just go into the studio one day, and be like, right, right, let's write a song, and we'll like just we'll finish some we'll early, and we'll be like, right, let's just write a song. And no one's got any, didn't use any starting point, and we'll just make some it up and just go from there in the studio yeah. and write. I'll probably get some the toilet for twenty minutes, for then maximum, and then till, till the end. Uh, the Aye. the new one that we just played is that's. Yeah. They're all like just wrote in about ten minutes in the studio. We wrote, like, we wrote that in. Um, nobody wrote that, knows. Nobody knows like fifteen minutes in, in the conservatory. Like. Well, we're tracking drums for like the first single, I think. But uh, it's a mix of stuff. In answer to your question that you actually asked, it's a mix of stuff. So, yeah. which, <laughs> which songs like changed the most since the first like version of almost Come Clean? Come Clean. So the last single, Come Clean, when we we had an idea for it ages ago, and we were we, he was in the. The toilet in the practice room where you get singing about Jeremy Corbyn, get more than your mum does, Lee love Jeremy Corbyn more than your mum does, or something. And that was like the chorus of Come Clean. With obviously we changed the words with different that. words, and right. then it, it was a tune that we were playing live, and then we went out in the studio, and it was like a five-minute song or something. It had like a get big get oasis chorus, and we just ripped it to shreds, like and made it like pump ears out, and it's like it, it was like two minutes long. And then <laughs> Do you use the um, the South Shields studio? That was for a. We, we used that for the EP. Uh, the EP. The EP. That was right. so the first singles were in his bedroom. Then we went to South Shield Studio with Harbour Master, shout out Top Look. Uh, did the EP. Then in July we went to Sugar, Sugar, House, Sugar House in mm-hmm. St Helens next to Liverpool and did Come Clean. 
which came out September, and then over Christmas we were in the studio in Sunderland. Pick up the Vanderbilt boys. Jews. Yeah, this is last studio. Yeah, Motorhouse Studios with a couple of the lads from Vanderbilt, and that's where the live session that came out yesterday that was done in there as well. Pretty decent, pretty decent. A few yeah. different studios, eh? But I think we found a settled point. Found now. Like, now yeah. like. <laughs> just so. throw a doorstep and all that. Uh, I mean, until we end up at Nadi, uh, Abbey Road, like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wish. Yeah. Tell you what, I've got a mate who's recording Abbey Road. Uh, Dolly and the Dinosaurs. I don't think I'd waste my money, like. <laughs> Probably. You never know, you could be the next Beatles, can you? I'd rather not be. I mean, not looking like. <laughs> 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 I mean, no, any, anything revolver onwards, I'm happy with. I've got a funny story about the Beatles, actually, at the minute, like. Oh, so God. I'll tell you about the dead Beatles, or not. So I got an email no. the other day for this band who want to play a gig at the venue I work at mm-hmm. called The Dead Beatles. So they're a weird Beatles tribute band that's kind of like a mick take of tribute bands. So it's literally just George and John. Right. And it's, so it's as if they've come back from the dead, <laughs> got rid of the other two, and <laughs> doing Beatles again. And it's all like weird psyche Beatles stuff, but only John Lennon songs. I want to see that now. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to see, see that. I want to see that. Get them When's the dead on? Beatles? As well, you were on about how you've, you've sort of settled in Sunderland. Obviously, you went from um, Pop Rex Cafe all the way to uh, Manchester now. So where oh. else do you kind of want to go from there? We've Glasgow, got we've got Glasgow booked. booked. We've got Sheffield booked. Leeds. We've got Leeds Stockton booked. Stockton again, Cuba. Yeah, Stockton Cork. That's not further afield. Further no, afield. We'll further afield than Sunderland. True. Uh, yeah. Very true. But I just, well, I, our first Pat Rex gig we did was good, and then we've kind of grew the headliners locally from there, and then this year is all about branching out. So there's like there's a first run of dates that run at the minute. And then there'll be some festivals in the summer, mm. and then there'll be some more run, like some mm. more shows at the end as of the year, like back in Manchester. As much as like we that. love gigging in like Sunderland and Newcastle, we just want to kind of get a, a fan base somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. like, well, get a bit on on Spotify and your Spotify rap, you did have like what fifty six different countries. The listeners from. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all over. I've got no idea who's listening to us in Zimbabwe, okay. but he's <laughs> <laughs> well, he's happy with them. The stuff that you put out last year, like because oh. you released an EP, Come Clean. Yeah, yeah. that EP so came out a year ago today. Did it? I like for us, for me personally, I I just think you can totally see like the progression of like the di- like yes. how far we came. Well, as we said, like from bedroom, mm-hmm. so from the the two, two singles we put out in his bedroom were two of three songs we had at that I, point. At the time, we were like, this is a this is mint. I like, and then like, but then and the EP was a step up from that. But then the real change for us. I think not just in the level of songwriting, the level of production on the tunes, but then when we really stepped our game up was like getting the social media spot on, mm. really growing a fan base rather than to just being our mates who were coming We're and that. That was like that Come Clean release in September. Yeah. And then we did the gig downstairs of Independent on in December and it was like packed and it was like That was the best that gig. Was that was incredible. The, the Christmas one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the that best, was like, it was the best gig I've done. Yeah, so it was like from that September release of Come Clean, mm-hmm. everything just kind of went from there, like, and it started proper kicking on. I think Come Clean is y- your best song you so think? far, yeah. yeah. He wants to be the amount of pay to record it, like. <laughs> 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 but like with when you when you but like when you're doing bigger gigs, you get paid more money, and then you can afford to go to a better studio, mm-hmm. and it's like, get and it, it does just more. gradually grow, and you've just got to, you've just got to let it happen. Yeah, Ollie is uh, favourite like local musicians. Since he's oh, all right. oh. So right, Patrick Goslin, Post Room, Kick Lilies, Kick Lilies, the boys, Kick like uh, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt, Love Vanderbilt, Fear Fantaro, Club Paradise, oh Club Paradise, somewhere else. Amelia Little, oh my, what's her name? Elizabeth, no, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth Little, she's good. Nice. You no, know, it's just Elizabeth now. Oh, it's just she's a, rebranded. She's rebranded and lost her surname. <laughs> Uh, There's loads though. Gotta watch little bands. It's awesome. All right, yeah. Indeed. We are um, an album review show as well. So each one of you, what's your favourite album of all time? Of all time. We just said that in the room, actually, don't we? We were talking about Sergeant Peppers. It's probably the best LP, like I'd say. Of all time. I think so. For me, mm. I think it's up there for me. Like I'd say, I think just as a. You want the Dead Beatles? Is, <laughs> that is it? Yeah. Unequivocally, the best album, or your my favourite album. No, your favourite album, not like. Animals by Pink Floyd. Mine. Oh, I a bit Michael Jackson, maybe. Who? You can't say that. Do you even know a name of a Michael Jackson album? <laughs> no. Exactly. Then see how I'm picking. But I like all of his songs, and I could just listen to them all day. Um. Oh, I don't know. That's a hard question. That like. It is difficult. 
I feel like I'm obliged to pick something I didn't, you know, older. I didn't, I didn't like, listen to uh, I, I didn't listen to full albums. I just listened to different singles, mate. Like. And that's why you're a disgrace. Yeah. I like, yeah, <laughs> uh, I've been listening to Chris Cornell, mate. Like. Right. Do you know what? I know it's not, I know it's not anything old or get famous or out, but for my personal favourite album, I'd probably say the Red Rum Club album. I knew you were going to say that. I love it. There's a band from Liverpool called Red Rum Club. I don't mm. know if you've heard of awesome. them. Like, but like, unbelievable. Every they put song an album out last year like and every song's a bop. They're so good. They, they, they call themselves Scouse Americana. So they've got like a they're like an indie band, but they've got like a trumpet player, and it's probably like Americana vibes. Right. Yeah, <laughs> so it's no, just I weird as output. It's class. It's like a so uh, good. Weird. I'd probably score that. Hey. Nah. All the Beatles. I was gonna say that, no. There's only until I met Jay that I started listening to like four albums. I used to just listen. To I I just listen. It's to like a, it's kind of, I feel like it's, it's hard work listening to a whole. I album. I have spent the like, past week trying to get through the new Tim um, Paul album. Really? Like it? Actually, yeah, no, I love it. I've just ha- it's yeah. finding the time to sit and listen to it. When um, I didn't really listen to Tim Paul like. Listen to the album. It's excellent. It's not listen to the old one. The old one's better. <laughs> yeah. So more. Uh, Inner Speak is the best album. But nah, yeah, Loner is Loner is nice to be. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. I like Elephant. I mean, the, those two albums, Inner Speaker and Lonerism, mm. are both mint. But I just like Lucidity. <laughs> Lucidity does it. What from there. Inner Speaker? Off in the speaker, yeah. Right. Well, no, the uh, the slow rush was hard to get through for the show. Wasn't I thought it? it was just like it sounded a bit like the EG. I just haven't got quite the attention span. Mm-hmm. Full album, you haven't you got the attention span to do anything. I know, well, I, mean, I can't <laughs> listen. To that. You haven't got the attention span to listen to a whole Tame and Parlour song at five minutes long. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> totally. right, okay, he's, he's, who would you say is the best musician in, in like a whole round of musician in the band? In your band. Oh, you're not going to say Dylan. I'm not. Probably Dylan. Yeah, like, Dylan. Sorry. Look at him. He's not going to fit out that door, is he? No. Go on, son. Yeah. Nah, Honestly, Dylan. Dylan my head will be bigger than anyone with mumps. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. You went there. I did go there. I did. Dylan, he's done it. Dylan, he's like. He, well, he's probably got a guitar and bass, plays keys, plays a bit of drums, can kind of sing a little bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's get on to this one. Because they both argue about who can sing better. Is, and is, both that, is that death. you admitting that I can sing? Slightly. Did, I your mum told said kind your of mom, a Your mum came up with us the other day and she was like, Dylan can actually sing, you know. I was like, no, he can't. <laughs> I was like, nah, he can't, but didn't tell him. <laughs> but I, Dylan, did answer your question. Right, okay. <laughs> Cheers, lads. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, I, I don't think we've said yet, where is your, your, uh, where, Fraser, your, your fourth member? Oh. He is currently sat in a computing lab because he is at Newcastle Uni. Got Other man. unis are available. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we do condone education. It's a good thing. You should be educated. Sometimes. Um, nah, sometimes. I didn't say so, like. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. <laughs> um, because he's a studious student. A what? He, a studious student. He's at uni, right? He's at that's uni. Right. Busy. Another one. Oh, he's he's, he's at uni. So what, what do you, you use do apart from the band? Or do you just I build Nissan cars for a living, mate. Do you? Yeah. Okay. So uh, um, I'm I'm at uni, but I work at independent in Sunderland, and I like promote gigs and that as well, like in other venues and stuff. I'm at Leeds College of Music doing production, so all your studio recording and stuff. And you're unemployed. And I'm unemployed. <laughs> Currently unemployed. <laughs> I need a job. Any studios in Leeds want a runner? Shout us. Hi. <laughs> Oh! 
So slide me a glance across the candlelit dance I'll whisper to you sweet nothings Although it might not seem it to you However to me it means everything Because you know that I'm into it Baby, if you wanna come my way You know that I'm into it We can be part of the in-between So baby, if you wanna come my way You know that I'm into it We could be all top on the silver screen Yeah, you know that I'm into it So you're not going to know no, their name? No, I just know it, like... Do you know Sunderland? Yeah, 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 do you know where I live, Horton? Yeah, I'm Horton. Yeah. Definitely so do you know where Horton. I'm from, the Bronx, me, like... <laughs> I'm, from the, I'm from the... From the no one actually knows there was a puff of smoke and then Lewis appeared. Dirty Deptford. <laughs> no, I'm from the depth of, like... <laughs> Sonic, me, like... I'm from, like, the depth... Where are you actually from, then? Rough as Toast. Where? Southwick. Southwick. <laughs> What's it called? Southwick. Southwick. Oh, I thought you said Rufus Toast. I thought you said it was Yeah, it's Rufus Toast, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, go. Oh, nice. Dirty Deathwood. <laughs> Stick yeah, to the floor around there, like. Costa del Penny Rail. <laughs> <Costa. laughs> Penny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the clubs in, uh, in Sunderland then? Night Best night, night out I've ever had. Really? Sunderland, it's a boy, it's cheap as out. <laughs> I can out with 20 quid. Go go oh, I'm, I'm trying to get honestly, to go to Indy, but you're yeah. yeah. in Go out with 20 quid and get a taxi home and get some chips on the way. So it's, come like, back. it's just uh, so cheap. Yeah, it? we have to go to Cholino's now. Uh, no, yes. go to no. Baker's oh, Baker's Oven, Mince and Baker's Dumplings. Oven. Right. Baker's Oven after a night Get out. Get three o'clock in the morning, Mince and Dumplings. Is that the one next yes. to Flanagan's? Uh, Aye, yeah. it's a boy. Oh, no, ch- chips. Um, the day this, like, crap microwavable Donner meat, and my God, curry sauce, chips. You didn't want to go home. Uh, no. Yeah. You, you just didn't want to go home. Gone to Sunderland. Gone to no. Independence. Leeds has done bad things to me. Yeah. Have nights out. Like, because you go for a night out, and then there's so much to choose from, like, food-wise. I end up going to McDonald's, and I feel a bit wrong. Uh, like, yeah. it shouldn't be McDonald's. It should be greasy, crap food. What? McDonald's, McDonald's is, isn't yeah, greasy. No, no, but but like, McDonald's is literally no, like, greasy, crap food. But, like, below know, McDonald's, like, like, like proper, like, mate, proper kebab. Battered sausage, that's, like, dripping in there. Like, uh, I, <laughs> once I went to Beatles overnight and got mince and dumplings with chips and just got two sausages on it as well, just for the crap. That's <laughs> so <laughs> wrong. That's <laughs> such a weird mate. I know. Yeah. There's mint though. Over here, and you've got as much as a McDonald's. I got a bun with gravy on one. Uh, gravy bun. Gravy bun, just. I mean, there's Greg's in there, 24 hour Greg's here. Yeah, there is. Yeah. I've, I've never been, I don't know why I've not been after a night out. Yeah, no, Greg's what, oh. doesn't work after a night out. I Greg's does, does. steak bake. Oh, it's no, 16 steaks at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember one time. They're all cold, though, if you got that time of night. I came to Newcastle. Cold. I came to Newcastle with the lads from work. It was like my first night out like in Newcastle. I'd just right. turned 18. And I was like paralytic, and I just got a taxi over about 3 o'clock. And the taxi driver was get me. I was like, can you just come through the drive through at uh, McDonald's? I remember I just like, 
He was, I, like, he was, I was just trying to get a little snack and I ordered 10 chicken meals. <laughs> and I just sat in the front of his taxi and just scoffed every single one of them. He was just looking at us while I was eating 10 chicken meals. <laughs> and I got, I was, I, I, just a look of disgust. I had the last one in my hand. I took a bite out of it. I said, sorry, mate, I would have offered you one, but I'm starving. <laughs> and the taxi driver just didn't speak with all of me. Like, it's yeah. the worst thing in life, but I'm, I hammered 10 chicken meals. Like. Absolutely shot me, mate. <laughs> where's where's that, like, you kind of, where are you wanting to play, like, Obviously, you go into different places, but where, where do you actually like the you venues? Play? Yeah, no, kind of. Oh. What city do you want to go to the most to play at? I don't know. I'm really excited to go up to Glasgow because yeah. we've got like, like Spotify streams get all that's telling us that people are listening to the tunes in Glasgow. But right, like, yes, yes. and I've sent a kind of few CDs and that up there, so we're really excited. Like, like a lot of the other shows, like let's be honest, we're playing mm. like other people's crowds, like other bands' crowds, mm. trying to grow fan base. But uh-huh. the Glasgow one, the Glasgow one, people are getting in touch and it's selling like fairly well yeah, like, yeah so, so we're really excited to get up there like i think that's the main one for us like. yeah S- okay. saying that if you could support any band who would you support at the minute up, real, up real, band. realistic any, realistic any band any, any band are you about realistic or like dream band or something? Course, dream band dream, dream. Yeah. Oh, right. i don't know but you can do both as well if you want to i would have said i mean not i would have said if we'll get us to the oasis because the crowds are just something else like yeah. Well, that's a dream one, isn't it? So I, uh, it's as if that's a dream one. Uh, I put our um, sound as well, so like up, up and coming, like kind of like science stuff just that's sign. realistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Red Rum Club. I that's love to play with them. Well, we are playing with them. To be fair, stop and call I wouldn't them. mind the ratings, like the ratings, oh, ratings are good as well. Smashing it. We've done yeah. the keys, haven't we? Done the, the keys, keys, smashing it. Done right. the snuts, but I did that again because that the was class. class. The snuts. Done the peel like the snuts. Oh, the, the snuts. snuts. <laughs> that's the snuts. Snuts. Jeez, nuts. I piece female band. It's a good name though. That was a good band. Ah, yeah, Change your name. Sluts. Sluts. Shaman's bad. Who else can keep me top off then? Call us the sluts and keep me top off. All of us just, you just but I, the dream all ones obviously get all oh, they get the, the biggest gig we can do we'll do it like do you know what I mean yeah, that's yeah. the dream to get do the massive I don't know, you know I would say like I'd so say like I'd like to do like Cortina or something like oh, just you know as big as as big as it can get exactly you know, like, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah. dream one I really didn't care like, oh. as long as it's massive <laughs> yeah as well going back to like your, your favourite albums would you say that's influenced the music you make what do you think? Oh, no, because I'd never even started listening to any music until I started the race. So what did you listen to? to? Yeah. I used to listen to like um, Justin Bieber, Michael Katie Jackson, Perry. like Michael Jackson, like. Stop listening to him like a couple of years. Uh, Ed years Sheeran, ago. like just your typical. Ed like, Sheeran's first album. Is I, but, but, you can, but, but that does influence. Your I mean, it does because I used to sing like I used to sing like a little. No, pop. I sing like Michael Jackson. Some, some, <laughs> <first, laughs> some of our first tunes have like pop melodies, and you can tell that it's come from. Uh, I like. Like, y- so I, but I, like it does influence what you do. <laughs> what you play, I, I does. does it obviously too. does because like, you don't. Just, <laughs> you can't. You can't say you've never listened to a tune and then write songs and say that it's not influenced you. Like every song you listen to influences you without even realizing it. Yeah. Unless you get someone who's never listened to music before. It's I mean, just in a room by itself. It's never left the house. Yeah. Well, that's something that I study, and it gets a bit weird. But, but what times the comedy? There's a, oh, no, there's a uh, Philip Glass song <laughs> called 4 Minutes 33. And it's 4 Minutes 33. You've scored music, just and the music is silence. It's just rest. You, you just sit at the piano, look at the piano. And for four and a half minutes. YouTube, there's videos of the orchestras digging it live. What was, was, was it called? It's four, minutes four, four, four minutes thirty-three. Four minutes thirty-three. Right, okay. And he'll, he'll like he'll go one, two, three, four, and the the conductor will be counting the beat the whole way through. But there's just, just not, like, but there's nothing, nothing playing. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, that just doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> no, well, exactly. Like, yeah, he's, the, the, he's just wasting his time. The right? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? The idea is that the music is the sound in the room, because anything's allegedly music. But that's too philosophical, so we're not going to get into uh, that. That's yeah, just yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's <laughs> oh yeah, how was it getting your new song on the pretty much playlist? Oh, that's something. That was pretty cool. We need to try yeah. get the new stuff on because that it was did. the first ever song we released. We'll have to get on to Frankie. Got on the playlist. Yeah, how, how did that happen? Was it just Frankie? Frankie Francis, who's a singer in Frankie and the Heartstrings, yeah. he like does the announcements at the match yeah. makes a playlist and that so, so we like we were like sending him our tunes and that when they came out he played it on his radio show as well an amazing radio i think and then pl- played it on that mm. that's pretty decent it's class yeah. 
You do need to get to come clean on there, though. Oh, yeah, well, really. and he said, I'm sure we sent him it when I came out, but I don't know. He, like, obviously, everyone's sending in the stuff, and he only puts like one local song on a week. Ah, does he? So oh, it's right. like, if you think there's a home game every other week, mm-hmm. and he ah, puts right. one local song on, and it's obviously there's good big bands like the Future Heads and that, and the field music who get on, so right. it's quite hard. The field music? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you heard their new album? I love, I love it. it. It's so good. That's isn't it? so good. I was talking to Pete and Dave about it the other day, like, I was with them, it's class. Like. Oh, do, do you know them? I know them yeah, pretty yeah, well. Pretty yeah. well right. Oh, good. Um, so. Oh, yeah, that was it. If you could work with any musician, who would you work with? D- to be honest, I'm, I'm you know, we so alive. Gonna say someone massive. alive. John Lennon. Yeah, John and I was going to say someone massive, but I just like to see how much we enjoyed working with Git Jordan and Jack from Jordan and yeah, Jack. Jack I, like, it. They, it like they did, they've done Liddy Put, the old band they were in. Jordan was in Hide and Beast. And then now they've got Vanderbilt, and some of the ideas, the hard father tunes were just crazy. Like, like. it wasn't even like we've been like we've, for example, we've been to some places to record a song. You be you gone there, you tell one, he sits there, he does does his thing, and that's it. We, we went there, like we played, and like just min, it was min crap on it. Like, and yeah. some of the ideas were just like total experiments. Like it was min cause we were just thinking like, oh, why don't we do this? And why don't we do this really than, daft thing? I w- smack a snare in the stairwell for half an hour. Or like put a mic 50 metres in the corridor, see what this sounds like. like just, yeah. It was really good crap, it was like interesting. Like, ah. Who would you like to work with musicians? I'd definitely say a good John Lennon. Like. Yeah, John Lennon. That'll and what's, me. Uh, what's that, um, the lad who does, he's done loads like Michael Jackson stuff. The producer. Quincy I, Jones? No. Um, but if you didn't know who it is, you kind of see it. He's still like Daft Punk and that. Like, he's still Lord. Oh, Nile Rogers. Nile Rogers, like, right. definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, right, that would be class, like, Daft Punk. Nile Rogers. What were you? Who would you work with? Or did you? Uh, be good to, did I don't know. Awesome probably like. like the, de- and the Dead Beatles. No, the Dead Beatles. The Dead Beatles. You said Maybe Joe not. Moon, yeah. Maybe not musicians, but producers. Probably Andrew Sheps. Okay. Fair enough. Good stuff. Right, yeah. I guess I'll end it there, yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Let's go and get this ticket.